Okay, this will be a little bit different of a video. It's just a teardown video, um, but teardown of a of a lens. Um, I actually spent the last oh twenty five years of my career uh, actually doing optics, uh, doing lens design and uh, camera design and things like that. Um, so I went back to electronics when I retired because uh, it was kind of a comfort zone and to go back to do some fun stuff I used to do early on in my career. Um, but um, uh, I like these old lenses from yesteryear and uh, a lot of times I'll take them and turn them into things like uh, this little nice little uh, magnifying glass that, uh, that I have here. This is actually uh, some elements removed for, from a camcorder. Um, so you can open up lenses and find, find goodies inside uh, that you can then turn into, uh, turn into cool projects. Uh, let me grab another one I have in the back here. Uh, so this is, a, this is a really big magnifier. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. It, it works better with, uh, with, uh, with your eye and not through the camera. This is a really fast lens. It's a very l large one. Uh, I think these were made for the television industry. Uh, but that's an element out of, a, out of a lens. So let's take a look at this lens. Uh, uh, there we go. Let's focus this. It is a coated super Albinar Auto 1 F uh, 2.8 135 millimeter. It's a nice portrait lens. Uh, it was kind of a copy of a, uh, of a Nikon lens. Nikon made a really, really nice 135 F 2.8, a really razor sharp uh, lens for, for pretty cheap. Um, as far as Nikon prices. Uh, this one has a pretty good close focus, uh, 5 feet. Um, F 2.8 to F 22, so good for macro photography with F 22. Um, so uh, let's just tear it open. <laughs> it's not worth anything. I mean, I, I bought it thinking I was going to use it for something and it wasn't what I expected and uh, uh, so uh, it's not worth it's not worth enough to uh, try to sell it to somebody else on eBay or get their hopes dashed on what it is. It's made in Korea, uh, so that's kind of interesting. Not many Korean lenses out there. Uh, let's see. Here's another another little screw here. This these usually just pop off. This is probably uh, a plate that's uh, specific to uh, some camera maker. I think. This one was uh, Minolta or something. I don't remember, uh, but uh, it has all of the mechanisms to run the aperture and uh, open and close and shutter and things like that. So, um, all right. So inside we can see more things. Uh, we have uh, uh, the uh, aperture blades opening and closing. Uh, one to six, looks like there's six, uh, six aperture blades, so not a very good lens. Uh, we have some more little, more little screws here, so let's take those out. Not sure what that holds in. And there's a flat, flat blade down there. You don't meet many uh, optical engineers who actually do camera optics. Uh, most optical engineers go into fiber optics or photonics, things like that. Um, I've worked on some of that stuff, but uh, I really like the classical optics. Uh, glass, and images, and uh, worked on LEDs. I worked on cell phone cameras, worked on the world's first cell phone camera. Uh, so fun things like that. Did a lot of consulting in the field. I built uh, biotech equipment that used optics to read.
different things, different uh, chemicals. And... Right, so where are we here? Okay, so this ring comes off. This is uh, the aperture ring. And let's see, what else do we have here? It's kind of a fun, uh, fun puzzle to get these things apart, not knowing how they went on in the first place. All right, so this one has super, super teeny tiny. Super teeny tiny oh. screw in the side. My chair is not cooperating with me. He's wanting me to roll downhill. All right, so there's one here in the, oops. There's one here in the side. That is teeny tiny. Teeny, teeny, tiny. All right. And one on the other side. Keep this in the field of view here. I pan out a little bit so I can keep myself in the, in the field of view. So cross corners from each other. There's this ring. Doesn't do. Has the uh, depth of field preview on it. All right. So how are we doing here? All right. Let's see what else we can get out. Uh. Is that a screw? Yep. A tiny screw there. Must be one on the other side. Super tiny screw over there. And then this thing should come out. Put the screws out all the way. I don't know how far they need to go. Man, those things are small. All right. Now what? Now what he says? Uh, maybe this thing will start to turn now. No. No. Oh, there we go. This is moving up. <laughs> uh, so it had some sticky on it. Interesting. Uh, the tube, and we can see a lens element, so we can unscrew the back lens element. Most of these lenses have a, a shutter in the middle, I mean, not a shutter, an aperture in the middle. that kind of holds everything in place, and then things screw in from one side and screw in from the other side. In fact, some of the really, really old lenses of yesteryear, I'm going to leave that one back on, shall I? Lenses of yesteryear were uh, view camera lenses, and they had a shutter built into the middle of the lens, and elements screwed in from one side and screwed in from the other side and you had a wide angle lens or a, or a, let's see how does that work yeah I think that's like a, uh, a wider angle lens and then you unscrewed one of the elements you only, you only used half of the lens and uh, it ended up being a telephoto so gardener is here all right so there's some more Screws down below. Take that off. Let's see here. There's a one on a spring down here. I'll also take. Let's see. Take that one out. Now this is kind of flopping the rings. Okay, well we we will unscrew this. One. Take it apart. Take it apart. All right, so. See if that's it. See if anything else will pop out. Uh, I don't see how this lens is being held in place yet. Uh, a lot of times things will unscrew from the front. Uh, I don't see. I don't see how this one is held in. Uh, this here needs to unscrew, but I don't see a, a very efficient way to do it other than brute 
core, so it is it is rotating. And there are threads. Wow. There are threads. Usually there's notches that you can get a spanner wrench into. And this one just seems like it's very crudely, very crudely going to come out. Pushing against the lettering, which is not an ideal way to do things. Very, very fine threads. All right, so that ring came out, which has all of the information with the serial number and everything on it. And then underneath that, I don't see any other things. Huh. Interesting. I'm going to put my fingers all over this thing because I don't care. Uh, I don't know how this thing is supposed to come apart. Hmm. Oh, let's look a little bit more deeper inside it here. I don't see anything much worth doing here. All right, so let's uh, take this rubber off. I bet you there'll be some screws underneath this uh, rubber, rubber grippy thing. Let's see if we can break the... There we go. Let's see here. Yeah, I think there's some screws under there. little bit of glue on it holding it in place. Just a piece of rubber. Oh come on. Alright, number 14. Probably the inspector. Uh, let's see, there is a screw here but it looks like it's screwed from the inside. Or maybe that's a pin so I can't take it apart. <laughs> Great. Boy, this thing is real grindy. All right, there's something else here. Let's see if these are screws or pins, huh? Screw, just dirty. Hole was filled with with uh, with. Um, Grease. Camera lenses, you always have part of it that's totally pristine, don't want a single speck of anything on it, and then the rest of the lens is filled with grease. <laughs> Probably not a smart thing. Well, looks like it's unscrewing. There we go. Yes. So, just another tube, and there's a lens element. That lens it might unscrew if I'm brutal with it. Ah, it has screws in it also. All right. Screw one. Now a lot of times it's this front element that's worth saving as a magnifying glass. Um, the front element does most of the work in a lens. The other parts of the lens are to try to control aberrations and things. Um, so, let me zoom in on this. You might find this interesting. So this is the front element that I just unscrewed. And you can see that it's making a very nice, nice magnifying glass all by itself. It works really good uh, using your eye. Um, so, so definitely, there you go. So just, just this one piece. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, just this one piece. Okay, so this is just glass here. So this is a ring that holds it. But this, what I'm holding in my hand now, is just glass. And uh, they're expensive to buy, so 
uh, yeah, nice little, uh, nice little magnifying glass. So you could try to re reuse this piece, or do what I did here is make my own, uh, make my own holder for the lens. So I'll probably do that with this. Um, uh, but uh, a very nice piece. And we'll keep that over there. Okay, so there's uh, the lens underneath that lens over here. So let's see what we have going on here. Now I have some focusing threads, which were part of the assembly. Let's see now. Oh, I see some screws way down in there. All right, so let's reach. Oh, well, this is going to be too big. Okay, let's see here. There are some Phillips head screws buried way down deep. And I have to reach down in there and get them out. They look like they had a little bit of Loctite in them or something. I don't think it was just grease. Amazing how they would manufacture these things. Those Asian ladies must have gone blind making these things. All right. So, are we any anywhere closer to getting into this thing? Oh, yeah, our lenses just fell out. Whoops. <laughs> okay. So now we have one, two lenses with a spacer in between. So lenses need to be spaced. So this is a spacing collar that goes between the two. And we have one lens here, which makes things look... Um, so, so give you something to, to look at. And this lens makes it look smaller. So it's a negative lens. And this lens makes it look bigger. So it's a positive lens. And uh, so lenses are combinations of positive and negative lenses and different materials. So this is probably a crown and that's probably a flint, which means different dispersions. And, um, and these are going to be part of something, there'll be an aperture stop behind it. Um, so these uh, can be useful by themselves. This one is a type of magnifier. It, it, it's okay by itself. Um, Uh, rarely do I ever use the negative lens out of optical designs. I really don't have a use for them. Um, so let's kind of put these in order here. We have that lens, and then that lens, and then that lens. And then we have the uh, aperture stop down in there. So we still haven't gotten to it. And on this side we have some lenses too, but I don't know how to get to them. I think I just figured it out. There's a a little brass or copper or bronze retaining retaining clip here, kind of like a C-clip. Let's see if we can't take it off. Then everything should probably fall apart. Oops. Everything should then fall apart. If I can do my thing here. Oh, come on, get out of there. There we go. You see this little uh, thin washer with a break in it. So now this should probably come out of there or or other things come out. Let's see. Uh, okay. Let's see here. I think I have properly jammed everything in here. There. I don't think that's where it should be. It should be coming out of there. I'm not going to be very nice with this thing. I'm just going to rip it apart. And uh, let's rip this out. Let's spring on that. All right. Uh, oh, there we go. So now it popped out. So now this is just a tube. Now we have the inner, inner sanctum of the lens. 
All right, for some reason my camera shut off uh, last couple minutes of the teardown here, but uh, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. We've got a bunch of tubes, tubes and rings and stuff. They're not going to be of much of much interest, but uh, they're all aluminum. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to do any anything with those. Uh, so that's all junk. Uh, I've got a rubber tread here, junk. Um, I did get some lenses out. Uh, the lenses in the back half here, I don't really care about those. Um, they're small and they don't really magnify all that much. Uh, so the lenses I was really interested in are the, uh, the front element. Um, the front element, which is an achromat. Uh, the next element, which is a nice, uh, a nice magnifying glass. And then the negative lens, which I never find uses. Maybe you can make a peephole in the, in the door or something. <laughs> uh, but uh, these, are, these are very nice things. You could put them in front of the camera and uh, turn, them into a, turn them into a nice magnifying glass. Let's get something to look at here. Uh, where's this thing going to focus? Yeah, there we go. So, um, so, yep. So, instead of throwing away old camera lenses, rip them apart, save the front element out of them, make a magnifier, and uh, put new life into the optics.